Hello, how are you doing? So I've got a quick tip for you today and it's based around logic. So I've got three tips, in fact, for you. So firstly, we're gonna take two separate mono tracks and we're gonna combine them into one stereo track. Secondly, we're gonna take a stereo track and we're gonna combine that into one mono track, so mono summed. And then thirdly, we're gonna take another stereo track and we're gonna separate those into two separate mono tracks. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got these two mono files here and we're gonna make them one stereo file. So they're completely different. We've got a left and a right. Okay, so you can see the, what the guitar's doing there and what the guitar's doing here. Okay, let's do that. So all you need to do is you need to highlight the regions that you wanna make stereo and then hit Command J. It's gonna ask you if you wanna mix it down. Let's hit stereo, so we'll say yes to that. And as you can see, it's made it a stereo file, but you need to go over here and make sure that you change the track to stereo as well, because it's currently just viewing it or essentially monitoring it in mono. Go to stereo, and there you go. You've got one track and both guitars. Okay, next up, we're gonna take that stereo track and we're gonna make it one mono file. So now it's gonna be a mono summed, essentially. Now, all we need to do with any stereo track you've got, click on a region that you wanna make mono. If you wanna do the whole track, then you can. You just click on, on the left here, so then you're highlight, highlighting the whole lot. But otherwise, we're just gonna do this one. Go back over to our little mono stereo option over here and make that mono, as you did there, okay. And now we're gonna do bounce in place. So make sure that that's still highlighted. This time it's gonna be Control B. You've gotta come up with this dialogue. There we go. I've chose to make it a new track, but you can choose to delete the old one if you like as well. And here we go. So just below it now we've got the mono summed and let's just have a quick listen so we can hear that you've got both of those guitars in there. <laughs> There we go, summed into mono. And now lastly, we're gonna take a stereo track and we're gonna separate it into two separate mono tracks. Okay, so this is a drum kit. Okay, so you could hear the ride there on the right. Now what we need to do is we need to duplicate tracks. So just go Command D, we've got another one, and then we're just gonna copy that. So if you just hold Option, click and drag, we're gonna copy that over, okay? And now what we wanna do is go over to this same thing where we were changing our mono and stereo information. So we've got two stereo tracks at the moment. What we wanna do is we wanna press and hold this time and then choose left for the first one. And then on the next one, you know where we're going with this, we're gonna click and hold and choose right. Now, technically, if you have those panned left and right, that is already, uh, they're already essentially operating as mono files. Okay, that's great. But if we want to make sure that these are actual that the actual regions are mono, then all you need to do is highlight each region and then do the same as what we did before with control B. Let's do drums left. And then the next one, and we're gonna do control B again, drums right. Again, if you don't want it to create a new track, you don't need to, you can just choose it to delete. And now we have these two files here and they are now bounced as mono. Let's have a little listen. You should be able to hear how they're working. And there you go. If you did find that useful, please hit the like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And also, if you sign up to mailing list, I will send you some free stuff. There will be an EQ cheat sheet as well as some one-shot drum hits that you can use in your mixes. All for free, for free, for completely free. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Yeah.